Aaron, thank you. Ten years ago tomorrow, two of Buffalo's bravest lost their lives in the line of duty. Lieutenant Charles Chip McCarthy and firefighter Jonathan Kroom died working a fire inside a deli on Genesee Street. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley recently spoke with Jonathan Kroom's mother, who says the pain never goes away. An alarm of fire, number 1815 Genesee between Burgard and Bailey. That call would be the last Lieutenant Chip McCarthy and firefighter Jonathan Kroom would respond to. It was August 24th, 2009. McCarthy went back into the super speedy deli because it was believed a person was trapped in the basement. Report from conditions on the first floor are starting to deteriorate. There was a partial floor collapse. McCarthy fell through. Kroom returned to search and save McCarthy, but Cruz lost contact with both men. Part of the floor collapsed in the store, um, and at this time we have two members of the department missing. McCarthy was 45, Kroom just 34. Our loss and our pain continues. It's something that we think about all the time. Angie Hausinger is Jonathan Kroom's mother. She says a heavy feeling takes over her every August. Because you know that something's coming, you know, and it takes you back. And for me, all I can do, like this year, when I wake up and, and I'm up in the middle of the night, I'll say 10 years ago he was still alive, you know, and I'll, I'll probably keep doing that, like, for every year. Kroom left behind two children. His son was born just two weeks after the fire. His daughter was only one. McCarthy was the father of three adult children. A decade later, Kroom's mom talks with new young fire recruits and shares the harsh reality of their jobs. Whenever I get the chance to talk to those young firefighters and, and let them know that um, one day you might go to work and you might not come home. This is the former fire site, but for the families, it's sacred ground. The McCarthy and Kroom families will gather here overnight to mark the time of death, a somber moment to remember their bravery. People have said to me, um, were you proud? It's always proud, but yeah, sorry. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.